boy, we are mulling you this weekend. Dancing with the wolves and that. Let's see if they got on their dancing shoes and can two-step with man. You me? Wolves, Liverpool, preview, but the boom! Boom! And you're back, Saint LFC TV, Wagwan. I hope you're good. You're here with your boy Saint, and I hope you're having a good week so far. And you're ready for this game coming up. You know what I'm saying? Um, here with a preview. Got a little help with it, got a little guest in that, so make sure you lot are jumping over to Coppish and um, and subscribing to my, my, my boys, the man them, the goats, you know that? Um, but listen, if it's your first time in here, please make sure you're hitting that subscribe button, you're turning on your post notification bell, um, and you know when I'm dropping in that. Did a little review of the Everton game with my boy Grim Sickers and my boy Ishmael from uh, Weird and Wonderful. You know, when we'd have to just put them man there in, a, in, in some grabber leaf, you know, like in a Rizla and a quick spliff and that. Bun them down, like. So go and check that out, innit? Um, also, if you're in here, hit a like um, and get in the comments. Let me know while go on. All right, then. The Wolves game. Ah, oh, it's, it's a bit mad, you know, um, because... They obviously they've got this new manager Bruno Lag Lag Lag, Lag I think um, and he's no mug like to be fair I kind of rate him still um, the way he plays football and that um, and he's no he's no Nuno even though Nuno Nuno was kind of doing all right there still but I don't care about Bruno Nuno them man there they're getting done out in it um, so it is what it is at home for them Molyneux they're what it's, they've taken eleven points. The last five games at Molyneux, so they're no mugs. Do you know what I'm saying? They're they they're actually, I wouldn't say in a rich vein of form because they've drawn their last two games, I think, or off like three three draws or something like that. So, but it's do you know what I'm saying? They don't they're not going to be easy at home. However, they don't really score a lot of goals. Them man, they're do you know what I mean? I think they're probably lowest in the shots that shots taken or something like that um, in the league. So, I feel like we've got an opportunity there to really move to them. Um, in terms of like who I'd be worried about uh, on a Wolves perspective, um, and it's the it, it's it's really comes down to the midfield because I'm not gonna lie, I rate man like Neves and Matinho. I think they command that midfield really well. Matinho, when he's on crud, when he says yo, I'm on it, like he can really, really like he's their kind of Tiago, if you know what I mean. Um, Obviously, we got shower men in midfield, so I'm not really that worried. But like I said, if I had to pinpoint kind of like problem areas in their team, I definitely say that midfield of Neves and Matinho and the way they they're able to control the game um, and really shut down that that defense um, that worries me a little bit. Um, Huang, Huang, he's a he's a love that he's a baller. I like him still. Not gonna lie, so we need to watch out for him. Um, and also Jimenez, come on. Um, he's their he's their goal scorer in it really, um, and then besides him, um, I would say obviously you know the wedge one, the one that's all like this and that. You know what I'm saying, man, like Triore and that, um, shitting out bricks and that. Nah, he's he's his pace, his power, um, he can be tricky. Do you know what I'm saying? So Trent's gonna have to watch out um, and like yeah, he get, uh, oh no, actually he's on their right, isn't it? I think he plays on their right, so I think it's gonna be Robbo still, but. Whoever, do you know what I mean? It's, and even if he does, do you know what I mean, swap wings or whatever, just attacking us on the flanks is going to be dangerous, isn't it? With that pace and power that he possesses. So, yeah, those are the things that I, we need to watch out for. Moving on to us, though. Um, we're in a good, really rich vein of form um, since the West Ham loss. Obviously, we're slapping man and slapping man with ease. About three, three goals, four goals. I think it's we're, we're what, three consecutive four goals? Mad thing, bruv. Mad thing. Um, so yeah, man, are getting moved up. Disgustingly. Um, I think that it's gonna be a tougher game, though, in this one. To be fair, I remember last season, uh, Rio Patricio had a mad injury. Um, I think we come out of that one nil still. Um, but this one's gonna be a tougher game. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I do think obviously we'll win it. Um, but. I don't think we'll win it with the ease that we've been brushing off, man. Like, say, Arsenal and Everton and them little team there. You know, <laughs> no, them way there. All right, moving into the lineup, innit? Um, so, for us, I'd say Alisson, Trent, Matip. Yeah, I'll put Matip in there. Matip, Van Dyke, 
Robbo, um, same back five as, as last game, really. To be very honest with you, I'm going to keep it the same team. <laughs> I'm not even going to waste no time. You know what I mean? Midfield, uh, Fab, Hendo, Thiago. Keep it the same. I know Thiago's played a bag of games. Maybe, maybe you can swap out Thiago for an Ox or a, a Millie or something. But I'd just like to see the, the same. The same. That's, this is our strongest team. And so I'd like to see it in its entirety for a length of games. You see what I'm saying? And then obviously Mane, Jota, Salah. Ain't got to spend much time talking about them, man. They're, they're absolute... <laughs> Leng, you know what I'm saying? Um, score prediction, I'm going to say 2-0. I think we keep another clean sheet, but I don't know if we hit the heights that we have been with these, man. Um, so I'm going to say 2-0. Yo, it's about that time. Drifty, what are you telling me, dog? What's going on, people? It's your boy Drift, you already know. Make sure you're smashing that subscribe button and that like button to Saint LSC TV. Make sure you're getting that done. Um, but yeah, bruv, uh, Wolves. <laughs> We're on a bit of a roll right now, innit? I'm not even going to lie. You know me already. I'm always a bit apprehensive about any game coming up because it's a new game, new day and all that, innit? But we are playing really well. Funny thing is, though, Wolves are performing well. They're not necessarily getting the results to back up the performances, but they are playing well. I don't even know if I'll say we're better home or away at the moment because we do seem to be performing in both. So even that was a tricky one, even though we all know the Anfield effect is just madness. But we have done well away from home as well this season. So it's a bit of a techie one in terms of like how I feel this game's going to go. This is when the games are thick and fast as well, when it? it's like one game every three days, rare, rare, rare. Like... There's a part of me that wants to think that we'll just continue to do what we've been doing. And then there's a little part of me that feels like what they've got in the counter-attack is a little scary with Chayore, with Jimenez and that. Because, you know, whenever we play them teams that can counter, that's what worries me more than anything. It's them teams that can counter with pace. You know, we play that mad high line. I'm going to go 2-1 based on the fact that it is away and Wolves are playing well. And I think they will get a goal because of the way we play that high line. I hope I'm wrong and I hope we do just contain them. But Chayore's pace is scary as, like... Come on, let's not even get it twisted. Regardless of whatever you think of his end product, he's going to keep getting in behind. Jimenez is back in form. Good to see, because obviously like, he's a, a brilliant player and he had that mad, mad, horrible accident. But I just hope this is one of his off days, in it? So, I'm going to go 2-1. I am apprehensive, but I think we should be able to get the job done. These are the type of games we have to win as well. If we're going to really push for this title, we have to win games like this. So I'm going to go 2-1, an eventful game, but hopefully we come out the other side with a victory, man. So, again, make sure you subscribe and you're hitting that like button. Do you know what I'm saying? It's your boy Drift. It's Coppish. I'm out, Boom. poops. You heard what he said. Get me. Like, share, comment. Please subscribe. All of them thing there. And I'll see you for the review. Boom.